Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. It's that van guy again with another weekly video. Today's video is going to be my store finds and mail deliveries for the week. Uh, I got a, a few cool uh, loose items from eBay. Uh, I got a trade in the mail from Dave Akers of Dave Akers Customs on YouTube. And also uh, this cool um, Christine uh, diorama uh, piece from uh, a diecast website on the internet. So uh, first we'll check out this carded uh, Christine piece. I'm not going to be opening this because I only ordered one. Uh, I have a bunch of these uh, Christine pieces and diorama sets. Johnny Lightning made some. Auto World made one or two. Um, and I'm keeping them in the original packaging because it has a lot of cool uh, background art and stuff like that. And it's got this cool uh, bubble packaging. Generally, I'm a loose collector, but I do want to keep this in the original packaging. Um, so we're not going to be opening it, but we will check out the... Uh, packaging up close so you can check that out and then we're also going to be checking out uh, all four of the loose vans um, on the turntable so let me grab the turntable and adjust the camera and then we'll check them out all up close and personal okay here's the Johnny Lightning 50 years uh, Christine tin collector display uh, this is uh, a scene from the movie Christine, uh, where Arnie first sees Christine in rough condition and uh, buys it from the old man. And his friend is along to try to talk him out of it. And it says, uh, so it has like a scene from the film inside the plastic bubble. And it says on the bottom, Arnie, this thing isn't worth 50 bucks, which is a quote from the movie. Uh, it says on the side here, uh, full color tin collector display. Vehicle with die-cast metal body and chassis, rubber tires, Arnie and Dennis figures. Um, so maybe this uh, platform and little uh, scene shield behind it is actually made out of tin. I kind of assumed it was just paper or um, just like a plastic insert. And I kind of figured it would just come apart and be ruined if I took it out of the packaging. So... Uh, I'm not really sure. We'll take a look at the bottom. Still not 100% sure. If it's tin, I guess it could be. <clears throat> this says uh, Release 4, and there's a number 2 on there. And uh, they did do some other uh, diorama releases. They did some Ghostbuster ones. I'll try to uh, zoom in on some of the uh, writing on here, and you could pause the video. And then you can read it. Hopefully this stuff will be in focus for you guys. You can pause it there if you want to read that little bit. I'll kind of pan around on the back of the card. Here's uh, some info about the Christine release on the back. And there's uh, a Ghostbusters release. That's also a diorama style with, uh, looks like a tin, same type of tin backing. And we'll zoom out and then it also shows uh, some of these, uh, most recent release of these um, kind of like sardine cans or like tin collector's cans. The actual cars fit inside this little um, like matchbox or tin uh collector's box that slides open and it has uh the car graphics on the tin storage tin pro collector storage tins i have seen a few of the, these at my local meyer but there weren't wasn't anything i was real interested in there is a johnny lightning uh black ford van with a coke livery on it that comes this way in a metal tin and i do have that but that's from a much earlier release. So that's pretty much it for the, the card. I was trying to hold out for one of these. Trying to wait until I could maybe pick one up in person at my local Meyer. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, I never found one. So I ended up just ordering it from uh, the internet. But very cool piece. 
uh, really cool uh, display. Something I'm looking forward to hanging on the wall with all my other uh, Christine uh, diorama pieces and other Christine die casts. I'm a big Christine movie fan, one of my favorite movies. So uh, now we'll check out some of that loose stuff. Okay, the first piece that we'll check out is this really cool um, Matchbox Ford Supervan 2. I'll give you a shot of the base so you can see the casting name. Ford Supervan 2, made in Macau, Matchbox. This is uh, Fuji, Fuji Color Racing Team. And this is the last one that I needed to complete my um, Matchbox Ford Supervan 2 collection. I believe there, there are some variations. I'm generally not a variation collector. Uh, there might be some slight uh, color variations uh, where one was uh, released at an earlier date and then it was released again at a later date with like a very slight different shade of color on it. Um, but I just want one of each, uh, tampo or, uh, paint scheme in my collection. And this is the last one that I needed, this, uh, Fuji Color Racing Team. I believe this comes in a set or, like, with a hauler. It's, I don't believe it was ever sold individually. So this is, uh, kind of a harder one to find loose. And I was just, I happened to score and find it on eBay loose and pretty good condition a couple tiny little chips on the back on the bumper and on the spoiler but barely noticeable um but in really nice shape and it was the last one i needed so i'm really uh, glad to have that one and add it to my collection uh watch for a video on those uh, matchbox ford superman 2s coming in the near future and we also have a green light this is i think from a four car box set uh like a michelin tire set and i think it came with like a charger and a mustang and maybe like a jeep um but i just wanted this van i don't believe this van is sold individually i believe you can only get it in the four pack and uh i think as part of the four pack there's like the little uh marshmallow looking michelin man guy and I think there's also like a rack of Michelin tires. So I, I didn't even know that I was going to be getting this little Michigan uh, Michelin man um, dude along with the van. I'm not sure if it was in the ad. I don't believe it was, but I can't remember. Um, but I was pretty pumped to uh, get the green light GMC van and the Michelin man dude along with it. So this is a really cool one. And i uh, going to add that to my green light uh, Chevy and GMC van collection. Give you a quick shot of uh, the top of the van and the base, just a metal base. There's some of the numbers and stuff. 1987 GMC Vandera, green light, some casting numbers. Pretty cool version, and there's the little, here's the little Michelin Man dude. Uh, next up, we got two that I got in trade from uh, Dave Akers of Dave Akers Customs. First one is an M2 release um, that came, uh, this van came inside a hauler, and this is like a Maui, Maui and Sons. I don't know if it's like a surfboard company or what, I believe it is. But I'm not really sure. Uh, I didn't really want to buy the whole uh, the semi truck and the uh, van. You know, buy the whole twenty dollars set with the semi just to get the van inside. I really only wanted the van. And uh, I was talking to Dave Akers, a buddy of mine, about some other stuff, and uh, he said he happened to mention that he had two of them. And he was willing to let me have just the van, and he could use keep the semi. Um, for a, like a custom project or something. So he gave me a great deal on this. Uh, I traded him, traded him some other stuff, sent him like a care box with a bunch of stuff in it and some freebies because I know he does awesome customs. Check out his channel if you get a chance. 
Dave Akers Customs. I'll try to remember to leave a link in the description of my video. But uh, really cool guy. And there's a shot of the bottom. This is a Dodge A100. I'm trying to keep my Dodge A100 collection complete. This is, uh, the, I believe, the newest release. And then last but certainly not least is this cool custom that he made. This is a Hot Wheels. Uh, I believe it's a 66 Dodge A100 van, which is a casting I also collect. Uh, this is a custom that he made uh, to make it look like a taxi. He put some custom wheels on it, and there's an extra wheel on the back. Very cool. Uh, taxi van custom that he made so really glad to have one of these really cool give you a shot of the base it's got some real rubber tires on it it's uh lowered so you can't really see the tires too well but very cool piece All right, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it informational. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, check out my Facebook page, That Van Guy, and check me out on Instagram. I'm that underscore diecast underscore van underscore guy. Don't forget to check out all my playlists on my channel. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Have a great day.